A couple of days ago, the trailer for Eco's La Brea was shown, garnering an exceptional level of appreciation and love from numerous viewers for its captivating content. What is Eco's La Brea? This game is a realistic animal survival experience set among the extinct megafauna of the last ice age, some 20,000 years ago. This immersive experience set inside the prehistoric environment recorded by the La Brea Tar Pits near Los Angeles, California, offers an intriguing peek into our past origins. Why the devs picked La Brea? The La Brea Tar Pits near Los Angeles, California is home to one of the most amazing maintained ecosystems from our recent past, fitting the latter part of the aptly titled Ranchello Brand Age, which occurred between 50,000 and 11,000 years ago. The recent discovery of La Brea is important to the devs because the intersection of extinct and current species appeals to the team's specializations. The profusion of huge and iconic creatures at La Brea makes an ideal location for displaying the whole range of North America's once abundant megafaunal biodiversity. What playable and AI animals are currently coming or shown? The current roster of playable animals includes a dire wolf, western horse, saber-toothed cats, and ancient bison. Additionally, various AI-controlled animals populate the game world, such as a dwarf pronghorn, berry rattlesnake, desert cottontail, and flat-headed peccary. It's worth noting that more playable and non-playable animals will be introduced in future updates. What devices will Eco's La Brea be played on? This game will be played on computer, mobile, and consoles such as PlayStation 5. Release Date There isn't a specific release date, but the only information provided was the game releasing in 2024. Alright everybody, so I know I did do a reaction, and the other reactions were to people on the Discord, including devs, and just players in general and stuff like that, so I want to point out more specific stuff I did see in here that I didn't say inside the last video. Okay, so I heard a type of elephant. Many people are like, oh my goodness, I want the mammoth to come back. Now let's be honest here, let's be honest here. If this is not a mammoth skull, what kind of elephant was back in the day? Like, I don't know that much elephants that were back 50,000 to 11,000 years ago. If they really wanted to, they could take away the skull right here in these ribs, take away the sound, and put some other type of animal. But they specifically decided to do like an elephant with the elephant ribs, and it sounds like an elephant call. Honestly, I really think it is the mammoth, unless it's... Guys, tell me in the comments if there is different types of elephants. I never did any research, but if you guys do know, tell me. Right here, we have the dwarf pronghorn, and this is the AI animal. I mean, its neck is obviously a little bit chopped up, but they're gonna fix it. And just like in Sense of Survival, when you do kind of like rip away its corpse, you can pick up its leg, for example, and leave it in your mouth. It's the same concept where the bunny isn't as heavy, and you can hold it, bring it back to your pack, or do whatever. And this little bunny guy right here, I forgot its name already. I'm sorry, I know I said it before, but this is an AI animal also. And on this part, you can see some bugs here. So I don't know if there's any like rotten flesh where over time, or maybe if you just kill the animal that automatically bugs come off it, but maybe there's rotten flesh where over time the animal does get rotten and bugs do come off of it. And if you do eat it, you could get sick or some type of thing happens. And on this part, this is the scent system. So you just hit E and there will tell you like what animals are nearby. And it looks like this right here, this scent system looks like it's for the AI bunny or whatever it is. If you click in the middle, you have a high chance or maybe there's a chance that it would kick it off or something. Because look, ready? Wait, hold up. Oh, well, I didn't see it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just as an animation. I don't know. But on this part, you can see an eye here, which are dire wolves. And I guess it's just you spotting the dire wolves or maybe they're spotting you or something like that. And when they do spot you or you spot them, you could see, you know, this exclamation point right there to show like, oh, no danger. We have where it says hone your instincts by completing tasks. You could go around the map and it would say, all right, hunt three AI bunnies or just hunt three bunnies. And you would get, let me go play the video. You would get these points right here, which you could get like different skin variations. I'm also very, 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 you know, curious. So what animals or what species are you guys gonna, you know, main? For me, you guys know what the answer is. It's this guy right here. But I'll see you all later in the next video.